Gibbons. You have a collect call from Ram Gibbons. Don't hang up, Sticky Bear. An inmate. <laughs> <laughs> Dick called him collect. <laughs> don't hang up, it's Dicky Bear. I'm glad to see Dicky. I am yeah, not mad. Mm. I'm not mad at having to see him. folks we're going back to you me and the tv and like fucking duck hunting here i'm just shooting all the guys that said they stopped watching after last week's episode ah <laughs> dang because they're to us. Bummer for them. Because our reactions to this season are justified. Yeah. We're not liking it, folks. And if you're not okay with that... It's not the best season. I'm sorry. We're not here to butter the biscuit of fans of this show. Mm-hmm. We're here to give honest reactions to the show we're watching. And if we're not enjoying it, we're going to tell you. Because we got to. That's how we make it fair use. we got to say what's in our head. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, just I'd just sit be here quiet. And there would be nothing. Yeah. Right? But yeah, what's going on? What happened last time on Justified? Gosh, you always ask me this, and you would think that I would remember. We're in Mexico. We're in Mexico. We killed some people. We stole some things. We're on our way back. Yeah. Somebody's going to do something to somebody. I'm not really sure what Daryl and Danny's... I mean, their overall plan is to betray... Boyd, Boyd yeah. Their plan seems to be, I don't know, somehow it's working. Yeah, don't know. But Boyd's, yeah, he's he's on to it. He's, he's just yeah. seeing how the cards fall. Exactly. Before he plays his hand, so. He plays chess pretty well, so. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Raylan got uh, dumped. He got dumped, and he's got two weeks vacation. I think he's probably got like a week left. Yeah, probably. After dealing with he the... should probably go see his freaking kid, though, don't you think? Yeah. Do so you think he's going to head to Florida? Boy, that there's would... nothing for him to do in Florida, so I don't think, other than go see his kid. Yeah. There's nothing. Well, I mean, I'm okay if they, like, jump time. I just. He comes back. We see him Yeah, I just am pretty there's annoyed that you. he has done everything except for actually see his kid I mean, this season. since he's seeing somebody, that wouldn't, I don't think he would go see his kid with a girlfriend. But he was if he's single, on if he's single her. he would go. Because then he can, you know. We're going to find out because there's only five episodes left, right? Yeah. Well, should we jump in and see what's next? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Justified Season 5. Yeah. We're holding on until Season 6 because I hear it's better. It's got to be. Can't yeah. be worse. Yeah. yeah. You're right. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. Find comment or access to polls. Help us people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Justified. Here we go. Somewhere in Texas, near the Mexican border. They have tow trucks? Fish and bricks. So you cover up the smell. Do you ever think about wearing yogurt? You saying I stink? I'm saying you can't smell that. You best go get your nose checked. <laughs> Maybe he didn't pack any for the trip. Twice so stinky. It's been a sweaty trip. Now where in the hell do you think you're going? No. I ain't smelling your ass all the way back to Kentucky. Oh, he's stinky and he doesn't even smell himself, huh? Sucks to be the smelly kid in class. Hot Rods boys didn't pull no weapons on you. Awfully convenient you had a way over the board all cocked and ready to go. I understand how you feel that way, Boyd, but you gotta admit we did deliver. Well, it seems to me that that heroin is still a thousand miles away from being in my possession, which means you ain't delivered shit yet. Hey, don't count your chickens for the hatch. I just want to be part of the goddamn family, Boyd. Uh, he wants to be the head of the family. Right. Hi. I'm Taylor. He's not in Florida. Uh, I don't think so. Hey. Those sound kind of like, don't they? 
Kayla. Rayla. Do they? No. <laughs> I love Miami. A and it's, it's so great you want to spend time with your daughter. I think I'd go with you right now. You want it? Oh, yeah. My rate is normally $1,000 per day. <laughs> oh. That's why she's <laughs> saying everything you want to hear. That's why she's starting up conversation so easily. He's getting his cash. <laughs> oh, got his face was all messed up. Yeah. Is he going to Mexico? Yeah. Yeah, this would be easier if you just point me in his direction. Uh, Marshal D. Agent. Oh, Tennessee. Alex Miller, meet Deputy U.S. Marshal Raylan Gibbons, down from Lexington. Marshal says some of Hot Rod and Dunham's crew ended up dead in Mexico. Hot Rod hadn't operated south of the border in years. The guys at Epic say differently. Thanks for the tip. I'll look into it. I'll let you know what turns up. I just want to come by as a courtesy. You know, when I see Hot Rod, I'll tell him you said, hey, Mark. I like to drive. It's Eric Roberts. Yeah. Sure is. Julia Roberts' brother. Yep. Said he was DEA? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Never thought I'd long for the Harlan County Detention Center, that's for sure. <laughs> you ain't said anything about my hair. Well, um, it seems to me you should have always been wearing it that way. Good answer. Good answer. That's how I like your hair, however you do it. <laughs> Our future. I'm gonna get you out of here, Ava Crowder. I promise you. <laughs> How's it working? She keeps getting deeper and deeper. Just take care of her. You let me know when it's done. Ava? I hope he's okay donating drugs to the prison. <laughs> I was hoping I could try it. You don't mind. Looks pretty bad. Well, that's pretty good. Come up with a name for it yet? Yeah, I call it a This Place Sucks. Hey. <laughs> Give it one week. You never have to see any of them again. You don't want to. Who knows? Maybe we'll even get you a job as a bartender in one of them fancy clubs. You gotta be 21. You get your fake ID. Come on, the state. You only have to be 18 in some states to serve. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kendall, how about you get Daryl a plate? Hey, give me one of them. Uh... Cafe Can we try? Coffee with milk. That's how I like it. We about to become goddamn rich, Wendy. Remember that phosphate mine? Multiply that by a hundred each. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daryl is counting his chickens. In two thirty-six. Could you send up another pot of coffee, please? Because this one tastes like my ass on Sunday. Thank you, dear. Why do you know what your ass on Sunday tastes like? Must be very flexible. <laughs> I know how he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dog. That was actually back for Florida when I got the news. You know, it strikes me as a beach person. My baby girl's down there. You got a kid? Yeah. Jeez. What'd you go and do that for? He didn't mean to. They're being followed by somebody. Just the camera crew. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, maybe it was on purpose. Oh, it's hey, that guy. What's the plan? Yeah. It's that guy he invited. Yeah. Just weird that he drove himself, huh? He wants to talk to the man himself. Uh, that's funny. So do we. All clear. Oh, the guys that the, the guy killed. But, uh. Well. They're Hot Rods, guys. I don't know who Hot Rod is. The ZZ Top. It's Hot Rod. I put that together right this minute. <laughs> We've been here all day minding our own, and we ain't seen the crew in days. We buying any of this. But they're loyal to Johnny, and they don't know Johnny's dead. Hmm. Hot Rod took off. Did he take off, or did they kill him? They didn't kill Hot Rod. You sure? I'm pretty sure. You'll have to forgive my friend Caleb. We know each other from the mines. 
If a man spends that much time in the dark, customer service ain't one of his strong suits. My experience, a dog can be trained. A human can too. <laughs> Once a week, you get me a hundred grams, pure as you can. I take a cut, give the rest to your woman. Ava wants heroin. Guess you weren't expecting that, huh? It's not for her. It's for the rest of the girls of the prison. <laughs> Worked with me at the jail, helped me bring shit inside. She was murdered. A man set fire to her house in the middle of the night and let her burn inside. You gonna get me my retribution. Oh, jeez. At least he doesn't have to sleep with somebody like Ava was gonna have to. You want your woman to be safe. This is what has to happen. I mean, she seems more trustworthy than the Nazis he was talking to, so... Yeah. I bet, I bet you two boys were expecting that heroin to come your way, weren't you? <laughs> In this case, no news is not good news. Yeah. It's not never time, baby. Mm-hmm. Hammer and anvil. Yep. Uh oh. That was big. Miller's department. Oh, yeah? Try me. Okay. Who are you going to hit first? Huh? Uh -huh. Woo! Oh, jeez. Hammer and anvil, baby. Hammer and anvil. Get the keys. Oh, jeez. He should have shot. Avon's on the run again. He give us where Roy Crowder's at, and maybe he lives. What the hell now? He's, there he is. He's still alive. <laughs> Honestly, of all the guest stars this season, I wanted to see more of Wood Harris after they introduced him. Yeah. Especially because I loved him on the wire, so. I'll draw you a map. You can't find anything out there without a, a map. He's gonna use that pencil as a weapon. I can see you going straight to the drug jugular, can't you? I know a good magic trick. It's an old trick, but it still works. Is that hot rod getting the upper hand? Gun down now! I bet hot rod's dead. What do you think? Well, the pencil went right where you said it would. Yeah. Just like you to show up two minutes late. Hi, Rod. What's it? Yeah. You got the flask. Yeah. You had this piece of shit ever since I know you. <laughs> you have to throw it away after this. <sighs> Turned out to be a, a DEA sting. <laughs> you didn't even know what your own office was doing. Landed me in some epic shit. <laughs> Almost lost my job. So he was the CI for a long time? Hot Rod's dead, and Johnny, who took over his stuff, is dead. Big vacuum there in Tennessee now. In Memphis. She sent you here, did she? They let you keep a gun in an old folks home? <laughs> Somebody probably smuggled it in for him. Them sending that poison into the prisons, making my poor Helena overdose. She was doing time for check fraud, for God's sake. Didn't deserve that. Mm. How about it? Won't you save us both a whole lot of trouble and agree to live out the rest of your days like a king, Mr. Swain? How much money? This is going to make him disappear. It's still a DEA case, Gibbons. If you headed over there, goddamn right, I'm going with you. Now they're heading back up to Boyd's? Yep, going back to Harlan County, I guess. <laughs> but I lost track of those idiots, Danny and Dewey. Can't get them on their cells. We'll keep a trying. The double D delinquents. What road is this? Dewey, Dewey, I thought you knew these roads. I know the highways. You don't know shit! <laughs> get this damn GPS working. You hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you. Amen. Simple piece of shit. Dewey's gonna have to defend himself here real quick. Yeah. He's gotta gain some self respect and stand up for himself. Can't kill somebody because they smell bad. No. I would have been single a long time ago. <laughs> he smelled fine. What are you saying? I smell? <laughs> I don't smell. He smelled good. Uh-oh. Don't 
put it over the bar. So this is the score. We're gonna let this song play out to the end so you can think about that. Then you're gonna tell us where we can find him, or that'll be the last song you ever hear. He's not in here. Shh. Song ain't over yet. Isn't he at the prison? Or don't know. He was at that old folks home. Oh, that's right. But he was leaving. The real thought is inside you, not out here. But if you want that real thought, you just say where and when. Why do they let them interact? The girls? Nobody should interact in jail. Well, it's this jail, it's, they're all sleeping in the same common room. Gen pop. Nobody should get to talk to anybody. <laughs> Right. Mm. Yeah, dead guy behind the bar. Somebody tied up. Two guys looking for Boyd, right? They did this. Yeah. Where are they? The whorehouse! He's not going to be there. He just gave him a location so they'd leave him alone. Well, we'll just come back for him and kill him later. Oh, the, the crows are there, though. Well, I guess they are there. Oh. Ability to successfully navigate the border patrols. And with the risk that assumes, we feel we entitled to 20% of the pie. That's it? Just that we appreciate the opportunity and we are excited to be a part of all your endeavors. Is the Mexican cartel going to want to work with them again after? Can't imagine. Oh boy. If I can tell you we're closing in, we're going to have a problem. We already got a problem. It's the only guys I got. Something wrong? There's more parties to the deal. We'll just take drugs or the money. In fact, I'll even let you pick which. Oh, that's mighty considerate. <laughs> Boy, crowded a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now all you got to do is kill this fella right here. Agree to ten percent. And you, <laughs> is you out your mind? Ain't nobody doing shit to oh, me. Or better man. yet, I, do it. <laughs> Avon, do it. Smoke clears, huh? Oh, cool out, man. I'll take 10%. Shut up, Daryl. It's already too late for that. Okay. <laughs> Who's in? Miller, would you call this a herd, a gaggle, <laughs> or a flock of assholes? I would call this the United Nations of assholes. That's a good one. We're going to need you two to put them guns down. Uh, Raylan, can I be excused from the table? No, you may not. we got a lot of players in this house now. Basically, Leah split his kingdom in half and gave it to his two daughters. Deal being, Leah get to hang out and keep 100 nights. Are they going to try him? Yeah. Thanking us. No way either of you are walking out of here in anything less than handcuffs. Oh. I'm going to give you three seconds, Roscoe. Drop the gun. Look, now I know you upset over Hot Rod, but you know better than push us, man. No! Your brother threatened a DEA officer. Put that gun down, or I'll kill you dead. Jeez. Put it down. Don't do it, Jay. Just everyone's dying this up this uh, episode, actually. Roberts was quick on the draw. Did he, did he threaten him that quickly? He didn't raise his weapon to him, I don't think. He say something verbally, and then he just like, oh, okay, you're dead. Yeah. So what now? Want to go hunt down some tow trucks? I'm gonna head back to Lexington, enjoy some of this vacation. So who all got arrested? Everyone. Uh, there goes Boyd. I apologize for running late. I right. had a little hiccup with the local authorities. Oh, I guess not, huh? Technically didn't do anything illegal, so it's just having a conversation. Relax, Elmont. You on Easy Street now. Now they're gonna kill him, huh? Think so. Jimmy, give Elmont here his money, ease his weary mind. Now nah, I'll be right back. Is Jimmy gonna kill him while the boy's taking a piss? Definitely. Ah. Never let someone sit behind you in a car, especially if they're threatening, you know, if you feel threatened by them in any sort of way. Boy, 
Lloyd felt for him too. This whole his wife getting killed. I hate him want to kill anybody. What are we doing here, Wendy? I'm just waiting for Daryl to make bail. I don't mean that. So Daryl got arrested? Looks like it. Why you keep talking about getting out? We both want out, Daryl. This place just ain't right. You sound goddamn stupid. I got one truck of dope here. Another one is on the way. They still haven't made it home? <laughs> no, do you, Danny? You're still lost. I'm finna kill three people. We gonna take over the entire heroin business in Kentucky. I don't want that. Oh, I don't want a part of that. Neither does Kendall. I want my cut of what all you're about to get in, and then I'm gone. Why would you get a cut? Why would she get a cut? Family cut. Probably a pact he made with his parents to take care of his sister. Hmm. It must be nice to have a man to do your every bidding. Because he sure done this one real well. Then we're good. No. There's one more thing I need. <sighs> Hold on. So he's going to have to sleep with her? See, the first one was you helping me on the outside, and this is you helping me on the inside. Mm -hmm. You want to hear it or not? She's going to have to shank somebody? <laughs> you want your shit. You got to kill Judith. Oh, jeez. Because she was the one smuggling in the heroin that got her... Oh, no. Her partner was killed in a fire, right? Mm-hmm. I've already torn you so many new assholes, you don't know which one's the original. But you're still the same guy they kicked up here from Florida. I'm going to enjoy my time. Hell, why am I even talking to you? You're not even here. <laughs> I'm still the goddamn boss until somebody tells me otherwise. And if I say you're not here, you're not here. Art is really pissed at him. Yeah. So well, there's Dewey Danny. He's not going to be oh. able to take them by himself, though, because Danny's going to go no. crazy on him. Miller's about to die, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, and then Raylan's gonna feel really bad he didn't go with him to back him up. I told you we shouldn't have taken the Dude, highway. Shut your goddamn mouth. Oh boy. Oh boy. How far you think that car is from here? What the hell are you doing? He's trying the 20 foot thing he told the Haitian about. You ever hear the 21 foot rule? Matter of fact, I have. Certain kind of man would think that is fate. What's Dewey doing? He put it in drive and run over his cousin? <sighs> oh, I'd love to see that. You're gonna be the second asshole I shoot today. <laughs> I'll make sure to put that on your tombstone. Is he gonna throw the knife? Oh, oh shit. Okay, so we just clipped Danny. Do we just kill Miller? Kind of looks like it. Oh, boy. Well, Do we just snap? He can't take any more of his cousins. Well, Danny's not going to be thrilled with that. So Daryl and Danny going to go up to Dewey now? I don't think it'll require both of them. I don't think... Oh, Danny's going to get into the Miller's car and chase after him, probably? Probably. Oh, boy. Well. Well. I think a lot of people died in this episode. Yeah, everybody from Tennessee, well, <laughs> other than Avon, who got arrested. I'm calling, I don't even know his name in the show. I don't Avon remember it either. Wire. Wood Harris, right? He got arrested because mm -hmm. he had the gun, and that I guess everybody else got arrested. Maybe Boyd just got bail earlier. Yeah, that's why he got. Could be. Right. Yeah. Or maybe they didn't have anything to take Boyd because it was Daryl's place. Mm. So maybe, I don't know. I don't think it matters. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, Ava's gonna have to kill the person that's been protecting her the last yeah, that old lady. two weeks. Mm. What happens to her if she kills somebody in jail? She stays in jail for a lot longer. Yeah, they charge her with the crime from jail, right? Mm -hmm. So I mean, so this is a lose lose situation here. Yeah, she's getting herself in deeper. Boyd's promises, "I'm gonna get you out of here," and every time he says that, something worse happens to Ava. Honestly, she, gets, she needs to like try to kill herself get put in solitary confinement yeah. and just stay there stay there stay in solitary 
She needs to get her lawyer. Actually, needs to do something and get her out. I yeah, still don't know. Doesn't work that fast. I don't think. The fake shanking that happened. Ugh. Yuck. Hmm. hmm. Well, let's watch the next episode. Well, what about Raylan? Mm, do you think a shit Art man. is ever gonna forgive him? No. Or, I guess Art's kind of right though. He's never gonna change. Nope. He's still gonna do shit his own way. Yep. Nope. Because he feels justified to do so. Yep. He has his own code. And Art's done in a week and a half. Is that what he said? Something like no. Uh, Raylan's got a week and a half oh, of vacation. Say, he's only so. it's only been like four days since he went on vacation. Something like that. What well, what's happened in those four days? Mm-hmm. We've had four episodes. <laughs> One day every episode. Kind of seems like it. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, let's watch Dave. Day five. You ready to watch day five of Raylan's vacation? Let's do it. Let's watch more Justified. Here we go. Previously on Justified. If you did this and this. So we're finally going to address that, maybe? I don't hope hope Dewey doesn't die this season. He's the only crow I like. Yeah. Damn it, Chelsea. Hurry up and take a shit. I ain't got all night. Don't you dare! No, Chelsea! No, Chelsea! 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 Oh, no. Now, oh, Dan's gonna be really Dan's pissed when he kill gets Kendall. home. Kendall. Forsaken in the desert like I was, I knew that that was my only shot. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> If you got to neutral, Dewey, when they put it on the tow truck. Oh, oh no. <sighs> Dope fell out. Muffler fell off. That's Classic. What he, I think he was putting dope in the muffler. I don't know. No, I'm alright. Oh, I'm there. In fact, I'm better and alright. Still talking on the phone. Yeah. What? We, uh,. We got a serious situation. <laughs> Do he seems to have a, a backup plan? A uh, little roadside set to last night. Put a DEA agent in the hospital with a broken pelvis. On a- All right, Miller's still alive. Doesn't look like you're dealing with any kind of Einstein here. No, I suppose not. What you thinking? Just trying to imagine what my Einstein's going to do with a carload of Mexican brown. So you know what he figures, Dewey? <laughs> Where is Dewey going to take it, though? Like, who is he talking to on the phone? Is the girl? Yeah, the lady. he have two girls he liked? I realize now it ain't hardly right to ask. You've done everything you could do to bring about an end to this, but there ain't no end to bring about. And the longer I keep wishing there was, the more intolerable my situation. <laughs> At least she's aware of it. <laughs> There's not a day goes by I don't think well, about it. I don't it. think you do, or else you wouldn't be having this conversation. Boyd. With me. Boyd. Right now. I love you. I always will, okay? Oh, boy. She still needs him to bring the drugs. If she doesn't supply drugs, she's going to get killed. Right. Boyd's not going to quit. Here, Dewey Crow. Where in the hell are you, son? I tell you where I'm at, boy. Shh. <laughs> that gremlin's still working. I got it all. Well, I, I mean, I got half of it. <laughs> you all gonna bring me two hundred fifty thousand dollars in cash? Well, that's an awful lot of money on such short notice. I'll be waiting on your call. Thank you. Dewey just wants to have a whorehouse and just live his life. We ain't got a problem. Based on this phone call, you got a problem. Yeah. Cut him loose. I'm on Dewey's side. Daryl moved in, took over the whorehouse from Dewey. Pushed him to his limit. Felt like he didn't have any of his... He paid for that place. Who am I going to work with? Him? Who most certainly is going to get you killed, or me, who most certainly is going to get you rich. What's Picker done? Here. 
Looks like you got some kind of reverse incentive keeping folks away. Well, can every day be Black Friday? We're bound to have ebbs and flows. Today we had an ebb. I think people say the business model's idiot proof. Speaking of which, <laughs> what's in it? Uh, used condoms. You know, we gotta wash them out for reuse. This here's a green whorehouse. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is best line all season. And get yourself a warrant, ain't that right, sister? Oh, oh. oh. I can't recall the last innocent I came across with a briefcase full of fake cash. We not enjoy our rights as citizens of a democracy. Under what charges would you detain us? Possession of newsprint? Well, it's illegal to have counterfeit money, right? Counterfeiting money is, is illegal. It's not counterfeit if it's just newspaper oh, it's, cut to the shape of oh, dollar dollars. Oh, there's dollars on top of it. And <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. It's not like they're printing dollars. You remember me? Sure. Officer Buzzkill ruined our pool day. <laughs> yeah. Those are Dewey's girls. Yeah. He can handle it, whatever it is. It's a lot of confidence for a man who wears shorts with combat boots. <laughs> I'd be willing to part with just a taste of it, but. Mm. Numbers on speed dial. <laughs> Easiest intel he's ever gotten. What the hell? <laughs> it's like 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dewey, whatever you thought the crows were gonna hand you to get their heroin back, unless it was like 62.50, you were about to get handed a 60. <laughs> Given these facts, who in all of God's earthly pastors is your only friend at this point? I hadn't thought about that. My dream ain't gonna die so easy after all. Hmm. So he's, now he's just gonna take off? I don't think he took from that what I intended. <laughs> oh. So who is Dewey's only friend? Don't know. Uh oh. I have a feeling this is Danny. It's Kendall. Oh. I give up. What the hell are you doing? I had to get out of there. At least it was a good crow. <laughs> I'm still wondering, like, Ava's gonna kill her to get the drugs to come through. She still has to deal with Boyd to be the source of the drugs. Well, Boyd will give the drugs to that lady even if Ava won't talk to him, because yeah. he'll do anything to protect her, right? Hold oh, this. I got pissed. Oh, that's an easy way to get her. She's on the pisser. Ava. Dorm room hacks are about to do a bed check. You in here, Judith? Go on, I'll be out. We gotta go. Like now. All right. Bed check saved your life. What? Pot? You got any more? You're 14. It was 12 first time. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> I was to ask you to come away with me. We could run off somewhere. I can do things in the and bar team. You want her to run away with him? <laughs> Hello? It's open, come in. What the hell? Called her. What happened? You get lost on your way to the save a lot? Oh, geez. Dude in a wheelchair. <laughs> you know, they were in there trying to tell me, hey, there's a, there's a Mr. Parker students in there to see me. <laughs> and lo and behold, here you are, Brother Parker. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> well, tell me, how can I help you? Yeah, how, how can he help you? Limehouse? Maybe. Remember, you didn't give that money back to... Right, Limehouse still owes him. Yeah. 
favor, right? Until he takes that money from him. Hmm. I'm glad to see Dicky. I am not mad. Hmm. I'm not mad at having to see him. That's why I called you. Always had a way of cultivating clarity. So what do you need? An assessment. It'll be fifty k in advance. I've missed you, Catherine. Where did Mary come in from? I don't know. Another guest star. Oh, I think uh, traffic stops looking for Dewey. Gibbons. You have a collect call from. Ram Gibbons, don't hang up, sticky bag! An inmate. <laughs> Dickie called him collect. <laughs> Don't hang up, it's Dickie Bennett. The game of us, right? <laughs> Transfer to long-term hospital care someplace way out of state. Right? And would you like that transferred by helicopter or are you okay with just a van? <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about greater protections and freedoms within your stay here. Southbound with your finger, follow it way, way down until you're pointing right at your asshole. And then what you're gonna do is you <laughs> take your hand and just, just go ahead and cram it right up inside. You gotta make sure <laughs> that the rest of you just keeps on following your hand right up your ass, right up inside all that shit you're so full of. Right? <laughs> and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna <laughs> wink out of existence forever. <laughs> Remember to use that sometime. Uh, wink out of existence <laughs> forever. I mean, Boyd and Daryl would have put the word out, so the first thing that dude's going to do is call one of them. So all I got to do is go back and wait for them to come home with it. Thank you for your help, unwitting as it may have been. <laughs> Especially in here. Hey, can you hear this, Raylan, or you need me to turn it up? <laughs> Oh, damn, son. This is who Dickie sent him to? Like this, I got to call in the money cavalry. Well, call him in, man. I ain't got forever to do this thing. All right, wait here. And that's going to include Boyd. Ah, Dickie, you're too dumb for your own good. I know, I feel bad for him. Well, I ain't drinking alone anymore, am I? Mm -mm. Is that candy? With him? I don't know. No. I wish you would. That's candy. No. The Pop Rocks? Oh, that candy. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh oh. Boyd's using candy. She is. Well, she just never spent a day on her own out there. Well, I'm sure she's fine. She just shacked up with some big old black mastiff, taking it real good, like the bitch she is. Josie's not like that. <laughs> I'm still pretty sure Chelsea's a boy. You got no sense not to run off. Unless if anything happens to you, I'm gonna take you out in your hide. Hey, hell, get away from me. Chelsea's dead, asshole. She ran off last night, chasing after some animal. Got hit by a car up on Copper Road. Uh, you, you left her up there all whole, huh? What do you think I ran? I will kill you, you son of Oh yeah, just like you did John Baptiste? Ooh. Go up there and get her body. Show a little goddamn respect. Then you don't dig the hole to bury her in. You make sure he don't run off. We got enough goddamn problems. When that's all done, we're gonna have a big old family conference. Oh boy. Get your mind right. We'll deal with Kendall later. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Well, he's in no state to go see Dewey. Or we'll get the dope from Dewey. I feel like their house of cards is gonna come over real quick. One could only hope. Remember that guard, Milam? The one Judith forced me to lay with? Well, he wasn't the only one. Seeing as none of them seemed fit to slip on rubber. All that action had consequences. Oh, no. Guards. She prays alone in the chapel. Chapel cameras are turned off at night. It's the best time. Well, you don't get any extra time if you do it. Nobody to witness it. Yeah. You tossed me three bricks for my trouble. And both y'all, put them goddamn guns away! Slide it over. I thought we had a deal. You thought wrong. I don't know you and Dickie Bennett's a wormy little shitbird. I <laughs> <laughs> that 
door, and I'll give you a two-minute jump on your buddy here. I'm gonna tear your ass up, Dewey. Well, that's about the best offer you're gonna get today, so I would take it. One more thousand. Two one thousand! I'm having a private moment. Why don't you show some goddamn respect? No disrespect intended. Considering the somber occasion, I'm inclined to do you a favor. If you carry that duffel any further up to Audrey's, I'd be obliged to take Wendy and Kendall in as accessories. What about Daryl? Him, I don't give a rat's ass, but I'd just as soon eschew the collateral damage. Well, he doesn't care about Kendall and Molly. You ain't never heard of the 21-foot rule before? Can't say I have. Me, I'm good to 50, 75 yards. <laughs> I guess the question is, how good a shot are you? Mm -hmm. I should say. Now, well, first, let me explain. Ah! He fell in the whole Kendall dog. <laughs> Did he just stab himself? Probably. Oh, no. Oh, yes, he did. I swear to God, I didn't see it either. Oh, Danny's dead. I don't know that that'll kill him. I don't know if that's better. Is that better than Raylan have to shoot him? Is that a better fate for him? I don't know. Allison Brander. Kendall went to see her this afternoon, and now... And now you think they might be coming after her. I mean, since you are apparently my own personal special problem that I must deal with, I'll handle it myself, if that's okay. You're the boss. He's gonna go over to her house? Why would they go after Allison? Because they figure that they want revenge on Raylan for killing Danny. Danny kill himself. See, I don't like the game Rowena's playing at. Always one more hurdle to leap over. I feel like there's got to be a way we can work together. Now, you think that's possible? That sounds like a grand plan, darling. Is she lying to him? You coming at me in prayer with a shiv in your hand. Now it's going to be self-defense. <laughs> She's going to WWF on her. <laughs> oh, yeah, how are you going to explain the blood all over you? And um, yeah. That I got a condition. It's medical, and I'm supposed to be on meds. Everybody has a condition. <laughs> but I can't fix this. I can't. I can't do it. Oh, well, then he's going to kill you. Then, so <laughs> you either fix it or you die. Pretty simple. How many times did you stab yourself trying to make it look like my woman did it? I didn't. I didn't mean to. How many times? Just two. It was two toes. Two fingers. Two toes. You hide those in your shoes. Please, please, please. I did it because I love her. You what? I, I could tell from the second she walked in that we had a connection. Jeez, this guy's so fucking crazy. I never hurt her. I would never hurt her. Horseshit. Stab him. I love her, but I don't have the power to make her mine. Oh, take his fingers off. Maybe all of them. Or at least one hand. A hand, maybe? A hand? <laughs> he is full of shit. Get out of here. What? Boy, bought that? What? Okay. We need to go. Danny ain't even cold yet, you all see. Oh, he did die. I feel like... Oh, he, he was dying right there in the hole. I'd have to go into his brain, though. I mean... No, I mean, there's enough... He severed his art. Mm. Juggler. 
coming from a woman so ashamed of her own son, she don't even admit she got one. That was the worst fake punch I've ever seen. Hey. All right, all right, Kendall. Where are you? Save your mom. Kendall. Oh, Kendall. Blood bond, stronger than the gator's hide. Yeah. We share blood. We ain't got no secrets, do we? You got to say it, Kendall. No secrets. You a man now. Daryl needs a new Danny. <laughs> you ready to be a man? I know you are. I feel like Kendall's just agreeing to this because he felt threatened. Right? Because if he didn't, he'd just kill him. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, boy. Lovely. Well, one less crew in the world with Danny gone. The worst one gone. Yeah. Craziest one. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out if I would have been happier if Raylan actually got to finish him. It was a funny finish. Or was that just poetry? I think it was pretty poetic. Yeah. He fell in the hole this dog was supposed to be buried in. Yeah. I guess the, the writers ended up giving him a good uh, send off after making him so annoying. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. The hole that Kendall dug for his dog. He fell into and stabbed himself. Yep. He's been talking about that 21 rule, 21 foot rule. Yep. All season. And we never got to see it played out. Last episode with Miller, Dewey interrupted him. He never did it with the. Seems like it could be effective because just. Was he just going to run at him and stab him? Yeah. I thought he was going to like throw it. Like he was good at throwing knives and maybe he. No, I think he was just going to run at him and then it like put. Catches him, catches him off guard because yeah, they're like, what the fuck? Going, like, <laughs> but Raylan fumbled for his gun for a second. Did he? Yeah, he fumbled it. Oh. He, he was reaching. He's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought we were going to have a... I think know, he would have gotten a shot off He was going to take still, him down but... and be like, that's why you never bring a knife to a gunfight kind of thing happened, but nope. So what do the crows do next? I don't know. Man, they, they have nothing. No, right? they get nothing I guess they nothing. have half the drugs that... No, uh, Braylon would have taken those into no, possession. No, they got the Dewey's half got confiscated, but the other half got delivered to Boyd. To Boyd, yeah. Yeah, so Boyd has that half. Yeah, but that's not the crows. I know. That's Boyd. So Boyd Boyd's and... already done with the crows. Yeah, yeah. I guess he cut them loose, huh? Because he wouldn't take ten percent. Right. Without arguing about it. Hmm. And then we had uh, Mary Steinberger pop up. I wonder mm -hmm. what she's gonna. She's gonna have to. I don't know. We're just about done, okay? Okay, I just need to turn my light off and turn the I'll be right there. We're almost okay. done. Five minutes, okay? Love you. Love you. So when Duffy's calling her in, like, he needed, like, a outside, like, advice on how to deal mm -hmm. with Boyd? Yeah, I don't know. Like, He's just Do you think we should lost. stick with Boyd or stick with... He's lost. He doesn't Picker. know what to do. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Picker doesn't seem like the winning party there. No. Because Boyd actually does all the hard work. Well, Picker just kind of... Yeah. You know, he's a muscle guy that just pulls the trigger when somebody tells him to or he feels he needs to. Mm -hmm. right? I don't know. Hmm. Well, cool. Three more episodes. Yeah. Three more episodes in this season. I feel like these last two episodes are actually pretty good. Yeah. Compared I mean, the, the best that we've seen so far this season, so I think. Maybe we'll turn the season around a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Now that you scared everybody off. Bummer. <laughs> so they can't handle me. Hard truths cut both ways. I'm really sorry. I, I can barely handle you. You think anybody else can? No. What should people comment on after these two episodes of Justified? Was Danny's ending poetic justice? Or would you have liked to see Raylan finish him in the 21 run? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 21 foot rule, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he'd been talking about how good he was at it, and then he actually lost to the guy he was facing down rather than just God, God's will. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. What are your thoughts 
on Thank- Danny's fast finish. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for two more episodes. Yeah. Of Justified Season 5. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, one link to comment, access to polls, up to people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.